We're getting close to the end of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, with only four more episodes after this one. This episode, Fossil Frenzy, is interesting because at the time it was leaked, there was talk that it might be a prequel of sorts to Power Rangers Dino Fury, so I'll be talking a little bit about that later on. But first, I'll just quickly say that I am approaching 100 subs, and when that happens, I'll be doing a special. If you want to have a say in what I do for that special, there's a card up above to a video where you can hear my ideas and vote in the comments on what it should be, whether they're my ideas or yours. So this episode opens at the Riptide where Zoe's brother reveals to her that he, being a paleontologist that I guess is in high school, climbed this big and dangerous mountain to find a fossil that he thinks belongs to an undiscovered dinosaur called the Volcasaurus. And he needs Zoe to have a DNA tested at Grid Battle Force to make sure it is a new species because he has an interview tomorrow to get a scholarship which I don't remember if that's for school or for research. When I watched it, I assumed he was trying to get into college or something, but it makes more sense for him to be getting money for research. Now, if he is trying to get a scholarship to go to school, if he actually brings in a fossil, he's like guaranteed to get that, because that's amazing. Colleges love that stuff when you can like bring in something that proves that you'll actually use the degree. If you can find a way to do that, you'll be set. If you want to be an engineer, drop some plans, Composer, writes music, just some advice from someone supremely underqualified. Anyway, he says that the fossil is fragile and Zoe should be careful, which means that surely nothing bad will happen. So yeah, Zoe accidentally spills acid on it and destroys it, which is kinda cliche. But on the other hand, it's not the cliche lesson of you should be more careful, so that's great. But now Zoe is super guilty about it, which is weird because there's a newspaper that published a front page article about it. So while that doesn't confirm its status, surely that's something he can bring as proof? So something about this episode is that the villains realize that they're almost at the end of the season, but the rangers don't. Like Evox is planning his final plan, and Roxy's about to risk everything to beat the rangers, but the rangers are just, oh no, the fossil! So Zoe is so guilty she decides to climb the mountain herself and get a new fossil. So Roxy follows her there and takes some fossil DNA to upgrade herself so she can destroy the rangers and prove herself to Evox. She gets this cool new prehistoric form, but in the process she blows up the regeneration machine so if she and Blaze gets destroyed, that's the end of it. You know, it's pretty great that the last few episodes have really focused on Blaze and Roxy because for a while they were kind of just in the background. but. They're really entertaining. And now, Rubble Roxy is going to be a bigger foe to the Rangers than ever. Will the Rangers come out on top? Find out after the ad break. This video is sponsored by my Buy Me A Coffee page. A lot of you seem to be enjoying these videos, and if you want to support the channel in a way besides watching the videos, and in a way that actually compensates me because I'm not monetized, Buy Me A Coffee is a way you can donate to the channel. Head over to buymeacoffee.com slash Kolhershowski to donate the price of a cup of coffee. There's also a link in the description and a link on my channel page under the banner labeled Donate to the Channel. Again, that's buymeacoffee.com slash C-O-L-E-H-R-U-S-O-V-S-K-Y. So the Rangers, shockingly, do end up defeating Roxy for good, and she's the second monster out of Beast Morphers that actually grows to giant size. Now let's talk about the ending. So Zoe did bring back a fossil and gives it to her brother, and the lesson she learns from the episode is that she shouldn't have gone on her own to the mountain and that it was dangerous. That's fine, but it's handled really poorly. She doesn't really face any consequences from her actions, she just kind of tells the audience that she shouldn't have done it at the end of the episode. I'm a firm believer that lessons should usually be implied and not just spoken at the end of the episode, and this episode was really bad at that. So let's talk about Dino Fury. So a lot of people after the Dino crossover didn't set up Dino Fury were hoping that maybe by the time they were writing this episode, they decided on Ryu Soldier and that this has some kind of setup. So let's look at if this is true. The two things that were seen as potential setup when this episode leaked were that one, maybe the Volcasaurus will be the name of one of the Dinozords in Dino Fury. This is unlikely. We have the names of pretty much all of the Volcasaurus like Zords, and even if they do spring it up, the name would kind of stick out. 
and two was that Zoe's brother would be one of the Dino Fury Rangers. We know that's probably not the case. I guess he could be the Gold Ranger, but we do have a highly rumored actor for that, and it just doesn't seem likely, especially since the Gold Ranger doesn't have a Zord based on a dino similar to how the Volcasaurus is described. So there you go. I thought this episode was entertaining with a few missteps, but the action was good and the villains were good. The dynamic between Zoe and her brother was nice too, but what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, like the video, and remember to go over to buymeacoffee.com slash callhershowski if you want. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos on the franchises you love, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.